Welcome to our training, How to Use Sponsored Products Reports. If you have a professional selling account, you can access a number of advertising reports for your sponsored products campaigns. In this video, we'll cover where to access these reports, how to create them, and how to use insights to help inform your advertising strategy. Whether you launch a sponsored products campaign with manual or automatic targeting, it's important to monitor your campaign's performance. You can identify which of your strategies are meeting your goals and which ones would benefit from a few adjustments. To access your sponsored products advertising reports, 1. Select the menu in the top left corner of Seller Central. 2. Hover over Advertising and select Campaign Manager. 3. Click Measurement and Reporting from the menu on the left side of the page. 4. Select Reports. You'll arrive at the Reports page and see any reports you've already created. You can download a report or use the Actions drop-down menu to run, copy, or delete it. If you'd like to create a new Sponsored Products Advertising Report, click the Create Report button and choose Sponsored Products from the Report Category menu. Choose a report type based on the insights you're hoping to review. To learn more about each one, 1. Select the question mark icon in the top right corner of the page. 2. Click Support Center. 3. Type reports in the search bar. 4. Select the reports article in the Support Center. In this example, we'll create a search term report. It can help you understand which terms customers searched for in the Amazon store had resulted in at least one click on your ad. Choose Summary or Daily as your time unit of choice and select a time frame from the Report Period menu. When you choose the time frame, remember that it can take 7 to 14 days to attribute a sale to when the customer clicked your ad. In the Reporting Settings section, enter a descriptive name for your report. For example, using a name like Search Term Report Last 30 Days instead of Sponsored Products Report can help you remember what information is included in the report. If you'd like to receive a notification email or have one sent to someone else when we've finished generating the report, enter the email addresses in the Recipients field. Otherwise, you can check the Reports page for the status of each of your reports at any time. Choose whether you'd like to begin generating the report now, on a future date, or on a recurring basis. Recurring reports can be scheduled for every day, week, or month. Once you complete the new report page, select Run Report. When the report generates, you'll see Completed in the Status column. Download and open the file with a spreadsheet application to review it. We created a demo spreadsheet with the same columns you'll encounter to help you understand advertising reports. Let's look at a few of the report's columns, starting with the campaign name column. You might have more than one sponsored products campaign that meets the criteria you selected when you created this report. The campaign name column will remind you which campaign the report's metrics relate to. The Customer Search Term column displays the terms that customers searched for in the Amazon store that resulted in at least one click on your ad. In certain cases, you may notice a series of numbers and letters instead of a more recognizable term. These entries represent your ASINs and their corresponding product detail pages where a customer saw and clicked on your ad. An impression occurs whenever an ad is displayed. The Impressions column counts how many times your ad was shown to a user who searched the term found in the Customer Search Term column. For example, the report shows that this seller's ad displayed 28 times as a result of customers searching Dry Box in the Amazon store. A click refers to when a customer selects your ad. The Clicks column shows you the total number of clicks that resulted from each search term or phrase. Using the same example, we can see that, although the seller's ad displayed 28 times from customers' dry box searches, these searches only resulted in one click. The Impressions and Clicks columns are brought together by the Click-Through Rate, or CTR, column. The CTR column divides each search term's clicks by its impressions to help you understand the percentage of shoppers who saw your ad and also selected it. For example, searches for fishing waterproof box resulted in the ad displaying four times. One click divided by four impressions equals a 25% CTR. You can calculate your cost per click or CPC by dividing your total spend by the number of clicks. The CPC column shows you the average amount you paid for a customer to click your ad after searching a specific term. Let's jump ahead to the Total Advertising Cost of Sales, or ACOS, column 
and the Total Return on Advertising Spend, or ROAS column. ACOS can help you understand the effectiveness of your strategies in relation to the amount you spend on advertising. The ACOS column lets you know the percentage of direct sales you made as a result of your sponsored products campaign. This metric is calculated by dividing advertising spend by the total sales generated by the customer's search. You can also look at your campaign's total ACOS for the time frame you selected when you created the report. For example, if you spend a total of $20 on the campaign and it generates $100 in sales, your ACOS is 20%. ROAS is the inverse of ACOS. It's represented as a multiplier rather than a percentage. In other words, ROAS is calculated by dividing total sales by advertising spend. Using the same example, if you spend $20 on the campaign and it generates $100 in sales, your ROAS is five. The ideal ROAS number varies depending on seller's campaign goals and strategies. We recommend aiming for a ROAS value above one. For information on the report's other columns and metrics, visit advertising.amazon.com and search for performance metrics in the search bar. Let's review how the search term report can help you evaluate and refine your advertising strategies. We'll use CTR and sales as examples. Select any cell under the CTR column, select the spreadsheet's data tab, and sort from smallest to largest. The campaign's worst performing search terms are now at the top of the spreadsheet. This information lets you know when customers searched for these terms but didn't click your ad after seeing it. To help improve your campaign's performance, we recommend looking at the first several rows of the customer search term column. You can add relevant keywords with low CTRs to your campaign to help drive more traffic to your ads. Select phrase or exact match as the term's match type. You can also add irrelevant keywords with low CTRs but high impressions to your campaign's negative keyword targeting section. To do so, select exact match as the term's match type. This can help ensure your ad isn't displayed when customers use search terms that aren't relevant to your product or aren't resulting in sales. Now, let's cover sales information in the spreadsheet. You can select any cell under the seven day total sales column, select the data tab and sort from largest to smallest to bring search terms that yield the highest number of sales to the top of the spreadsheet. In the last example, you learned that you can add customer search terms to your campaign's keywords. You can also reference the ROAS column to see if any of these terms are generating ROAS that meets your business goals. If they're meeting or exceeding your goals, consider raising your bids on these keywords and monitoring how they impact your campaign's performance. You can also sort the column from smallest to largest to see lower performing search terms that aren't meeting your ROAS goals. Consider adding these terms to your campaign as negative keywords to exclude them from your strategy. There are many ways you can use this and other advertising reports to make improvements to your sponsored products campaigns. We recommend generating and reviewing reports at least every two weeks to uncover insights and adjust your strategy. You now have the tools to create and review sponsored products reports to help improve your advertising campaign's performance. This concludes our training, How to Use Sponsored Products Reports. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.